Hey there, y'all. Disney D. Prince here today with another doll review. So, as you can see, today it's not so much a doll as a doll playset. And this thing is big enough that I had to readjust my filming area so that way we can get all of the awesome that is this set into the picture. So, as you can see, I have three Kens back there. Of course, my mini-me is hosting as always, but I figured I'd bring in a couple of my new favorite Kens. Our Barbie-style Ken and our Barbie Extra Fly Ken to help me show just kind of the scale of this place. So this is the Glitter Girls Sweet Shop. As you can see down here, it's got the name on the little like rainbow sign that goes above. And what a better way to start off Pride Month than with something that's got some rainbows on it. So I ordered this because I had seen some people that did repaints of it and made it look like vintage, like Victorian sweet shops. And I was like, oh, that's really cool. Maybe I'll keep an eye on it. And it originally retails on Amazon for $100. It is actually designed for 14-inch dolls, not 11-inch dolls. But I think that gives it a more realistic perspective on these because their heads are not touching the ceiling, which I appreciate that. This actually looks like a real building that they would be walking into. So... It's open here in the front, obviously, there's no doors, but it's solid all the way around. And this thing came shipped as one piece, which is why I didn't show you guys in the box, because the box is huge. Now, it does have a UPC on it. Let me show you guys that UPC. And it's literally just a cardboard box. But here is the UPC for you guys, in case you want to try to find it online. It is, so far as I can tell, only available at Amazon or directly from their Glitter Girls website, which has its pros and cons. The pros of which, you know, you get good Amazon deals on it occasionally. The cons of it, you're not seeing the scale in stores. Now, for a while, I've been thinking about some of the... Oh, what's their name? The Our Generation Girls doll sets. But those are actually 18-inch dolls, so a lot of their stuff doesn't scale up correctly. Like, the food winds up being huge compared to, like, our Barbies. And, you know, chairs are too big to accommodate for the 18-inch dolls. So, I thought a 14-inch scale is probably going to be about realism, which is great. So, this retails for 100 It ships all as one. And it is... I actually picked it up for 69 instead. And it was the first time I'd seen it on sale. So I was like, I'm going to get it, because this thing has something like 237 pieces in it, which is all in this bag right here. So I figured, why not? So let's take a look at some of the stuff. I don't think there's any instructions that are included in there, but as you can see, there's a lot of stuff. Like, this sweet shop is designed to be filled, which is great. I'm trying to see if there's an easy open part. I think it's down here. Yeah. I think this is technically taped. But it's very cool. So we are going to try to do this as humanely as possible. But just look at that. Like, there's so much to this set. Like, there's a full floor under there. This has got some stuff on it. Oh, see, like that just came up off of the tape, which I'm not loving that, but this is going to have pretty easy to repeat 
see like a bunch of that paint just came up when I took this tape off. And there was not really an easier way to take that tape off unless I was gonna heat it up. And I'm not sure what this is connected to underneath. But, let's see. There might be instructions underneath this thing. I did not look underneath. So let's see. Take our Ken dolls, who are all a little confused as to what's going on, and see about showing off the other side. Okay, so I guess it's not. So as you can see, the other side is just nice paneling. So it looks pretty good. got windows, little box plants and things. I'm trying to figure out where this part opens. But let's see. Maybe I'm just supposed to cut it. So as you can see, the bottom part is pretty well, um, pretty well constructed. It does have some screws, so you can take out this middle section and take apart the back section, I guess. But like I said, this all ships assembled, so you don't have to actually put it together. But it's more like if you need to disassemble it, you can. Now, I do want to show you guys what I mean. So, like, that was just from taking the tape off. And that paint came off completely. And there's still actually a little tape left on here. We're going to try take off any tape that's left because that tape just comes off a little bit too easily. Or the, um, but I think just a little bit of acrylic is gonna be able to put that color right back on. But it is a little disappointing that the tape takes it off so easily. So I recommend before you're taking your tape off of yours to, um, to actually heat it with like a blow dryer but it's very cool like this looks great we've got a little awning on this side and a big picture window and everything looks really cute so let's take a look at everything that we get in here All right okay so I think the biggest piece that we want to look at first. So we have our little sweet shop sign. Now this is actually, I think this is actually electronic. As you can see, we're going to try to get this put together. It just got two little things that it slots into. So we've got some instructions under there. So this is what it's supposed to look like fully assembled. It doesn't really have the instructions. It's got a content list, which is nice. Um, but, I don't know. Uh, this goes somewhere. Oh, hold on, here we go. So the only two things that you're supposed to attach on are the sign that goes on top and a little barber pole, it looks like. So we do need three AA batteries and a little screwdriver. 
this is actually like a bench seat that's supposed to go over here, I guess. So let me grab some AA batteries and my little screwdriver so we can put that together. 90% sure I have AA batteries. So I've got, thankfully, three AA batteries left in my box of AA's that I had. And these are expensive lithium batteries, so they are not going to stay in this. But as you can see, it's very cool. I'm going to tilt you down just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Oop. Sorry. Sorry, phone. As I said, I had to adjust my filming area so that way it would actually accommodate this because the set takes up about two thirds of my actual filming area. And I, if I didn't adjust my filming area, I would have to do this in the kitchen like I do with the dollhouses and I didn't want to set up that setup. There's actually batteries in there. I probably should have just like tried that. All right. But um, but um, I feel it in my head. But um, but um, da -da -da -da. sorry, I've got the new Kylie Minogue song stuck in my head. I promise I'm not trying to get it stuck in yours. Um. Okay. So. We're gonna put it on the try me mode because try me. As you can see, it lights up. Nice, quick, and easy. Mm, pretty good lights, actually. And turn it off so we don't burn through those batteries. And we're just going to put it right there at the top. actually pulls it up a little bit because it was starting to kind of uh, droop there in the middle so that's it on our assembly of that which is very easy and that can come out I'm assuming and let's see if we can find that barber pole to put together the last thing that's actually needing to be assembled. <laughs> okay, we've got a lot of things in here, guys. So we've got a full-on, like, full-size gumball machine. Like, that's awesome. A thing of swizzle straws and candy straws and, like, pixie sticks. Some little like cake displays. Oh, here's the uh, the barber pole. So we'll take that and we'll look at the other stuff here next. So here is our cute little barber pole. It does not light up or spin, unfortunately but it's very cute. And it literally just pops in right there. Whoop. Just 
just like that. And it's very, very cute. And then we've got three little like cake stands that are cute. I don't know where those are supposed to go. So we'll just put them right there for now. But we can always consult our handy dandy picture. So our handy dandy picture has two of them just floating off into space. Oh well, that's fine. <laughs> um, so let's take a look at our next big thing, which is gonna be the gumball machine. Now, whether or not this is a functional gumball machine will decide how I feel about it. Because otherwise it's just kind of a really cool piece of um, display stuff. Okay. So we have a flap that opens. We have a thing that spins. Do we have anything that lets them out? No, that's sealed set. You guys can see that. Oh well. It's still very cool and it will cover up a little bit of that floor damage that we have. And then... I think the other thing it wants us to assemble was the cash register. Oh no, it's just push the green button to open the cash register. Okay. I don't see the cash register yet. Oh, here we go. Okay. So we've got a cash register in here. Very cute. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's our cash register with a working drawer button. The red button also opens up, so for credit and debit. And it's got like a little spinny thing with some gold um, confetti in there, which is kind of awesome. And then we've also got some cupcakes. These are pretty good sized cupcakes. Let me get the, the Ken dolls back out so we can show you guys. Okay, so here is my standard Ken, as you can see. It's a big cupcake, but I've eaten cupcakes this size. So I'm not complaining about that. I'm just stating a fact. And there it is next to a Ken with the gumball machine. Again, appropriate gumball machine size. We're not mad about that. We've got a couple of these little um, candy displays, which are very fun. We can put these right over here on the shelf. Also fun. Um, trying to find the big thing so we can take them out. Ooh. Sorry about that, y'all. I'm trying to be more aware of my surroundings, but it is not always going to work. Okay. So we've got a little cover. I think that's what this is for. Or somewhat close. Something of this nature, like this, kind of. I'm going to assume that's what that goes with. <laughs> We've got a very cute picnic basket that actually opens and closes and is a pretty decent size. It's a little bit of a soft plastic, almost. Like, weirdly enough, my brain just goes, that would be good to chew on. Um... <laughs> And then we've got the same basket, but in this sort of ma like magenta. And this, I think, is supposed to be like a display box for shelving, like sweets and things. It's got a little bit of uh, kind of dark plastic on it, but that's okay. Let's see what that's supposed to be. 
What do y'all think that is? Oh, yep, it's a cupcake tray to actually go with those cupcakes that we put on the other part. But it looks like I was right, and that little uh, bowl piece goes in there. Okay, bueno. Okay, so we're going to just put this right there for now and move that off to the side. Now, we have also got some little food pieces and candy scoopers and some candy apples and some popsicle or lollipops. Very cute. We're going to open just like the candy stuff last though. Like anything that's just straight up candy like this, we've got gumballs and little like lollipops and things in there. Very cute, but also very tiny. So what we're going to try to do is not do all of that at the same time. So in here, we've got a couple of different things. We've got the lids to those little uh, display jars, and we've got the cupcake holders for the box, in addition to all of this other stuff that's in there, like the little gummy bears and like little um, sour balls and some cookies and things. Um, part of me wants to open this, and the other part of me says this is still small stuff, so we're going to still small stuff later. And we've got a couple of very cute little like jars with some marshmallows and some blueberry jellies and some wafers and some little like twist sticks. Like very cute. Very, very cute. But again, still a little bit of small stuff. So over here, we've got the scale. And that's going to be our next big thing that I want to open. I think. because these cupcakes are not gonna run away. So, as you can see, the scale actually works. It has a little bit of function to it. And we'll put that right there. From the edge, we've got three more cupcakes, this time white with pink frosting. Very cute. And then we've got some ice cream sandwiches or just like stuffed cookies, which are very cute. So very fun with those. Now we've got some interesting ones that I didn't think were gonna be in here, but they are really interesting. We're gonna set him back up. So we've got like serving ware, which this is so cool because this kind of thing we just don't get from Barbie very frequently. Like this is a very cool piece, just like on its own. little trays to put things in that fit into these slots for like buffets. And then straight up, we've got a set of four blades, otherwise known as shallow bowls or soup bowls with a holder. And then we've also got one of these, which is like the, uh, the cover for things. And I'm not sure if it goes over these. Well, it fits over those. So I guess that works kind of like that. But these are so cool. Like again, they're the right size. The blades are a little big, but you can consider those platters. So those are just kind of like random. Like I don't like, there's some that are up there on the top and they just have different things stacked in there. And then the blades are over there in the corner. So, I mean, it's very random, 
But as you can see, like the lollipops are in buckets and things. Oh yeah, the um, the candy apples go under that big thing, which is a different color here on this picture. So I don't know. We'll see if that's there's two of those or not. So we've got another thing in here. We've got a lid to one of those. We've got the lid to the other jar. These are still big things. It's not a billion little pieces that are gonna run out from me. Okay. So we've got what I guess is like jelly beans. These don't come out, but that's still kind of cool. And then we've got this little jar topper which does not go on that one, and does not go on that one. We've got this little jar topper, also fun. We've got the top, like the hat to like a gnome cookie jar, I guess, is in here somewhere. And then these two like vintage, like uranium glass inspired lids. thing that we've got in there are these buckets with like all these little chocolates in there. Now these buckets seem really interesting. So like something fell off. I don't think it was a piece but it might be a piece. Hold on. I think it was just like stand-in plastic because I don't see anything colorful on my floor. But look at the top of this. This is ready to have the lollipops put in compared to this which is more just like has things stacked in there. So we have two like empty buckets and then one that's got specific lollipop like standards so we've got like some barred chocolates and some sweethearts some little meringues like these are very cute so let's take a look at some of our other pieces that we have now i'm going to take all of the like stackable pieces out or not stackable but the uh, like storage pieces and then we can look at the individual types of candies so here are the uranium glass ones. They're very cute. Here are their lids. Just goes like that and like that. Very cute. And we looked at those pieces that we had in there. There's actually chocolate wafers in there too that I didn't see earlier. Um, Okay. So here is the bottom to the gnome cookie jar. Very cute. We've got this cookie jar, which is very cute. I think this one goes with that, possibly. Yes, cookies. And we've got the two layers of cupcake holders that just slide in like this and slide out in their little trays. Oh. I've got some things on the run because there was another little hole. That's what I was afraid of. Um, okay. There we go. Okay, we've got these two lids, which go on our little shelf holders, I'm pretty sure.
We're just gonna set him down right there. So we can kind of get that out of the way. So these just kind of snap on like that. Just like that. And we've got two of those that are the same. So that's nice. And then our, we'll start looking at the kind of easier stuff. So we've got a couple of scoops for candy and stuff. Very fun. We've got our three lollipops right here that are very cute. And they just slide in right there into that little, um, little piece right there. And they're actually shown on the bottom. And now let's take our Cute little candy apples. Very cute. A little bit of glitter, but you know, they're called glitter girls. So you kind of gotta take what you get. And the cover fits over them nicely. And we can just stick them up there on the shelf. Very cute. Now we've actually got some little like doubloons also. We've got six little gold coins. So I don't know, Barbie is clearly going to rob the high seas. to fund her sugar addiction. Now these come in their own little holders. We're one of the ones that we were waiting for, I guess. I'm actually just gonna cut this off. I feel like that's gonna be easier to take out that way. So we have this little like ice pop and it says glitter girls the ice pops are individual we've got four flavors green yellow orange and pink so that's wonderful we can set those right there and we've got these little like candy sticks with three flavors we've got the blue and purple the yellow and green and the red and pink. So again, very cute little things. Now we've got three bags, actually four bags of loose candy. But first we're going to take some of that stuff out and put them in the little uh, cupcake trays. Just like this. And we're going to take these cupcakes and put them in the right spot because I'm pretty sure that's supposed to go on top of that. And again, it doesn't have to be a crazy amount of things that are in there. As you can see, we actually don't get enough cupcakes to fill both trays, which I'm a little disappointed by, actually. But we can make it look full. And then we just kind of put that towards the back over there. And we can get that out of the way. And so our next thing that we want to look at are some of these cookies. 
So it looks like that cookie jar, the blue one with this little gold top, holds these cookies that we have in this little bin. Set that down. In addition to these cookies that we have in this bag that tried to run away, So what we want to do is we want to try to do those just a little bit at a time so we can layer them so they don't all look like we've got all the cookies in there at the exact same time kind of thing. So there we go. We've got that cookie jar ready to go back on the shelf and it looks very cute. And now, looks like our little sweethearts and meringues. So like everything that's in this bag, except for the little chocolate bars, I guess, is gonna go in this empty one that we have now. That's okay, we'll take those out. We've got pink and white and purple chocolates. I'm trying to make sure that's supposed to be right. I don't know. It's a little bit wild how some of these are in there. They're very cool though, but I guess this is where we'll put them. Just like that. And then one of these little scoops goes in there and we can put that on a shelf or by the window. We might put them by the window just to make things a little bit easier on us. And then we have this scoop, which could go in that one, which we'll also put over here by the window. Okay. And there's the little cookie jar topper. I don't know what that other, I guess it goes on this one. Now that I'm looking at it. I was trying to figure out what this one went to. And it goes to this one. Very cute. So I don't know where the chocolate's supposed to go. See, there's room for more things to be displayed than we actually have, which is fine. But I'm like sitting here trying to figure out where things are ideally supposed to be located and some things literally just don't have a place um, but they're very cool oh, dang it. these bags tear too easily when you're trying to take the tape off okay so let's see so what else is supposed to be up there? Oh, that's where those are supposed to go, is on here. So it looks like our sandwich, our like wafer cookies are supposed to go down here. Again, we'll try to alternate the colors so we're not just getting, you know, all pink or all brown on there. And then I guess part of those meringues are supposed, I guess the meringues are supposed to go on top of that from what I'm looking at. Nope. Not gonna work as well.
Wasser. Very cute. But I don't think that's all that's supposed to be in there. Or maybe it is. Hmm. I guess it is. Those are all hearts. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't seem like enough stuff goes in there at that point, but that's okay. So yeah, we've got a lot of pieces that actively like come together in this little shop, which I think is great. I'm still trying to figure out where our star, um, our star things are supposed to go. Cause I see them over here, but not somewhere on the display. Oh, that's where they are. They're up there in that little hole thing. Okay. Did not see that. No? Okay. I'm gonna have to do that individually. Okay, so there is a little lollipop holder back on the back part of the wall, which we're going to apparently utilize. For these lollipops that are stars and regular like long stick lollipops long stick lollipops so we've got a lot of like bonbons right there um, but this is what we are going to be doing and i'm actually going to have to move this a little bit closer so i can show you guys as I kind of get above to actually see those holes. So these are pretty, pretty tight, like little drilled holes, but the sticks do go in there pretty well if you alternate the um, the colors. I'm just realizing that I probably should have put the orange first, but I don't really want to um, try to yank these back out. There are seven lollipops. And seven holes for you to push said lollipops into. That's very cool. I was wondering where those were going to go, but they were staring right in front of me. So let's see what's supposed to go. Okay, so. The little marshmallow rainbow twist things are supposed to go in one of these, or at least are shown in one of these. And there's a fair amount of these to fill this thing up. So that's always nice. Compared to our little um, sweethearts that don't really have a ton to go in there. But as we can see, we've got a nice full container of those. And now let's see what's supposed to go in the other. I 
I can't really tell what's in that one. Can you? I think that's the sour balls that are like here. Because I don't think those are the gummy bears. They might be. Actually, now that I look at them, I think they are. Okay. Yeah, we'll put the sour bears. We'll put the gummy bears in there, I think. But I know for sure that the marshmallows are supposed to go in this green one. So we'll put those in there while we've got that, uh, that bag right open in front of us. And this is a very intricate set. Like the, um, the real Littles food would do really well in here, I think. Okay, so that goes there. And it's supposed to go on that shelf. The... I don't see where the little blue things are supposed to go. The like, oh, they're white, that's why, on the screen. Some of these things are slightly different colors, which is fine, but also a little confusing. So I don't know which one's supposed to go inside the gnome, but we shall look and see what we have left at the end to put in the gnome. But I know the gumballs, are supposed to go in this bucket. Okay, so gumballs go in this bucket down here on the bottom. Or bonbons, I'm not sure if they're supposed to be bonbons or gumballs. Um, and then I guess the other ones that are not the gummy bears in here go in there. So I guess this will be our other one that we put in here. These are pretty cool little gummy bears, like pretty well molded. They're a little bit big for our dolls, but they're still not out of the realm of possibility for that to be just a really big gummy bear, which I like. I have also eaten gummy bear that's proportionally that size, <laughs> but it's very cool. There's like five different colors of gummy bears also. We've got blue, we've got orange, we've got yellow, and we've got, well, actually there's like a blue green, a blue, a yellow, a pink. So I guess just four, not, not five. Okay, so also very cute. And pretty decent sized amount. To get filled up in those. And then I guess these sour balls are gonna be like the last little um, things that go in this bucket. Oh, I almost missed a gummy bear. Hold on. So not as full as it could be. But we could also always put like a little bit of foam underneath if we wanted to. But let's see, so that's that. Put this on there before I forget. And then 
our last little thing that we've got to put in there is this. These are like little like jellies or whatever that are very cute. A nice good blue. Just enough of them in there. And that's all of our little pieces. So the only thing that we don't really know where they're supposed to go is the chocolate bars, I guess. because I don't see where they're supposed to go. We do have two baskets that we could put them in, but we also have this little thing right here, which I guess is technically big enough for them to fit in. So we're gonna, we're gonna try to put those in there, I guess. And you can only fit three, which now don't wanna come out. So, maybe not the best bet. Okay, so not the best bet to try and put the chocolate bars in there. But, I'm sure we could find a spot for these. They could always just like sit out, I guess. But, they're very cool. And again, nothing is really out of the realm of, like, possibility. And you know what? Actually, I think we're going to put them, we're going to put the chocolate bars in the Sweethearts thing to kind of fill this up. We'll do half chocolate bar and half, uh, and half Sweethearts. That works. I do like how they give you scoops. It's very cute. And like, there's so much going on in this set that it's really kind of surprising that it's not more expensive. But I, I love it, it's awesome. This thing is Instagram ready because like, it, it just is like, you know, the one downside is that the tape pulled up a little bit of the paint. All it takes is, you know, a little bit of that light pink acrylic, and that's going to be it. So, I mean, it's very cool. You can rearrange these things however you want, because it is not, nothing is nailed down in this set. The only thing that is actually secured is the post and the sign. And do you guys see that cute, cute flamingo in the back there? Like, that's just sweet. I love that. It's adorable. So, it's very cool. Honestly, I think it's worth the $100 for how many pieces you actually get. Because all of the pieces are individual. Like, it's really, it's not like you know, Barbie, where they tend to, like, make a pile of candy a pile of candy. The only pile of candy that we got is this one right here, which is, like, jelly beans or whatever. And that's the only one. That is the only piece that is, like, one solid block instead of being individuals, which I can't blame them too much for that. But, I mean, it's so cool. And we've got a lot of space to still add more stuff, which is the nice thing. Like, very easily you could add in a bunch of, like, the LOL milk containers and things like that. And it's not going to look super out of place as long as it's, like, pastel. So, I mean, it's very cool. <laughs> Do I think it is worth the $100? If I were to have bought it at retail, yes. Am I glad that I bought it at uh, 59? Also yes. But it's so cool. Like, I am not, I don't feel 
like cheated out of anything when it comes to this, which I think is great because it is just very accessible. My one qualm that I have is I wish this actually dispensed these gumballs, especially since they went through the prop went through the process of like hollowing this out and doing the twisty turns. But you could easily take the red gumballs from our gumball pile and just feed them into there to where it looked like it was a dispensing one. But I mean, it's awesome. Like it's the appropriate size to where your dolls can be in there and it just looks like a regular shop, which is the biggest problem that I have with a lot of the Barbie play sets is that they're not actually to Barbie scale, which is sad. Like some of the food is gonna be a little bit big, but I've seen candy stores that, specif that specialize in just big candy. So, you know, I'm not going to complain about that because it's awesome. Now, this is rated 3 plus. It's designed for 14 inch dolls. It is not made by Barbie or MGA. It is made by Glitter Girls. And they are a subsidiary of Maison Batat. So, kind of cool. It does come out of Canada. Here is the item number and everything. Glitter Girls Sweet Shop. And it's just so, so fun, I think. Because we have our very fun dolls that are going to just be a little bit more fun in this kind of setting. Like, I've got my extra fly, and he just kind of fits right in. I've got my Barbie style, and this is his, this is his, you know, pastel kind of dream. Like, there's so much going on in this set, and you could fit easily eight or nine dolls inside this shop that are still not touching. You know, I have three in there right now that is just, that looks like a slow day. So, you know, this is a great set. It's gonna be a pain to move, which is kind of the only problem, and that is because stuff is not nailed down. You know, the stuff that's in containers is probably gonna be fine, but anything that's in, like, the buckets or just, like, on a tray is gonna be pain in the butt to move. But, like, once this is set up and actually, like, ready to go and you want to do, like, pictures and stuff in it, this is an awesome, like, room box, essentially, is what it is. And those go, like, plain room boxes that I've seen go for over $100. And you have to add your own stuff in. And they have about this dimension. So that's why I was interested in this set when I saw it online. Um... I had kind of seen Glitter Girls before, but not, like, really considered it. And so I was like, well, you know, maybe if it goes on sale. And lo and behold, it went on sale, and, you know, I saved myself some, like, 30 bucks. And it was great. I am kind of sad I didn't buy two. <laughs> but no, this is very cute. Uh, the sign that comes off on top lights up. It does come with batteries, which is nice. And this is all very easily paintable. Like, if you wanted to just, like, paint all of this to make it look like wood, or to make it look like an old Victorian shop, very easy. I do kind of wish that this little, like, drawer down here was real. That would be awesome. There is cabinet space all under this ledge to where you can put things, which is great. Like I said, there is a lot of space in here. Like, so you have three shelves, the little countertop that runs all the way around, 
plus everything underneath. So if you have um, food items and things like that, like other doll foods, very easy to fill this in. Like, I'm looking at some of my other doll food that I have right now. Like, some of this stuff could very easily go in there, you know? Like, I could very easily put in some of these, like, the eraser cakes and things. Very easily take up the rest of that space and kind of fill it in. So... If you guys have questions on this, if you enjoyed it, you know, leave them in the comments. If you follow along for some more fun unboxings, I'm going to try to get back to regular posting. I'm getting over being sick, uh, so I was gone for a bit. So if you guys have questions, leave them in the comments. If you enjoyed it, leave me a like. And as always, follow along for some more fun unboxings. Bye, y'all. Be good.